Hi everyone, I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of our VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are in the Ultra Series and it is Friday, so that means we are finishing the week up before moving on to a new team next week. With this team on your screen in front of you, we've been playing the Xerneas and Kyogre build for the last couple of weeks on the channel, the Reindeer Core, and it's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun with it. We've had integrations with Metagross, we've got the Mega Swampert going on at the minute, and we had some really great suggestions. We've changed things up as we went through, and one of the things we're changing up today is bringing in the Quillfish. So, Quillfish, we've given it the Z Crystal. Uh, we've got Poisonium Z, so it picks up the knockout on things like Xerneas, it picks up things like Tapu Lele, we had Speed Tapu Lele, Scarf Tapu Lele in the rain, so we just need to make sure that's there. Um, and then I've brought in Togedemaru as some fake out support, because really, without, you know, if we kept something like Ferrothorn in there, we've got no fake out support to help that Xerneas set up. We need some fake out support, and we've got a heck of a lot of electric weaknesses in the team right now, so Tapu Koko could really run through us if we're not careful. So Togo Tomaru does help us out there a little bit. We've got enough to deal with Groudon, I feel, with the Kyogre, with the Tailwind support from the Tornadus, the Swampert, Mega Swampert, and then the Quillfish doing some nice work as well there. So, um, nice things about Quillfish, it can take a bunch of attacks, it's got a weird EV spread, but it does make sense. It's down in the description below with the rest of the team. There is a Roll Paste and a Poker Paste. Go ahead, try it out. Let me know if you do, of course, as always. But without further ado, guys, let's just jump into today's episode. It's going to be a lot of fun to end up the rain dear call and finally we get quillfish on the channel of course it's always going to be good oh there are at least two pokemon with the same held item oh come on okay i'm going to cut this we'll be right back i need to take the focus sash off talk to oh no i've got it on tornadoes yeah so we'll be right back i'll just adjust this so we're back guys, I've changed up the items, obviously what I've done in homage to that lovely Tornadus that we played earlier in the week, last week, we've brought it back, it's got the wiki berry again, so it's a bit more bulky but it can still perform a really nice job within the team, we've kept the focus sash on the toggle tomorrow because we've got the Endeavor variant that we have played already on the channel, so everything being fine, we should hop straight onto the ladder now and get underway with our matches today so as always guys if you do enjoy the content please remember to drop a like on the video it does really support the channel and the video itself and make sure you do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content very soon and leave a comment down below let me know what your thoughts are on the reindeer call and what you would like to see going into next week now i've mentioned that i will play my bristle regional team that i run this weekend because it is bristol regionals if any of you are going and you spot me out and about at the event come say hi because i would love to meet you in person it would be great to hang out and just catch up at the event um but yes if you'd like to see that team next week of course let me know and i will make sure to feature that next week if not we'll play something completely different but if you've got suggestions let me know down in the comment section below we've got our first opponent so we will hop straight in against the black wizard Okay, Mr. Black Wizard is running a team of Xerneas, Lunala, Blaziken, Persian, Gastrodon, and Amoongus. So, Gastrodon, how you doing there? <laughs> I'm not liking the look of this Gastrodon right now. Really not looking good for us right now with this full rain team that we've got pretty much going on here. And the one time we drop our grass type... We see Gastrodon, and it's going to happen. Okay, so we've got, getting a bit more serious though, we've got the Xerneas Lunala combination there, really strong combination, did so well in the Sun, and pretty much in that Moon series as well, very, very threatening. You can't fake out the Lunala, it's got Tailwind, Raw, Psych Up, lots of options there to disrupt your side of the field and support its own. You've got Mega Blaziken, potentially there is the Mega, going to have Speed Boost Persian. There is going to be the support option, fake out, parting shot, lots of options there. Uh, the Gastrodon, like we said, a big threat for us to deal with because of its Storm Drain ability. And then the Moongus as well with its redirection. Now, do we go Quillfish? We could go Quillfish here. Um, Quillfish might be quite nice. Quillfish, Kyogre. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, do we want Toe tomorrow? I think we definitely need Xerneas and maybe we go Toe tomorrow in the last slot. And let's get into this one. Oh, I hope I picked Toe tomorrow. I hope we didn't time out and pick something else. That would not be good. Come on, Togi. 
Let's hope we 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 click that button. This is an interesting team though. I'm really looking forward to kind of getting into it against it. It's it's really well put together to be honest. Um, okay, Zonius Amulus for my opponent. This is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna tell you why it's fine in a minute. So we get our rain up. Quillfish is like super super fast. I mean it's not so fine because the Amulus can put whatever it wants to sleep which is not ideal but we have we have things we can do except deal with the among us of course um all right now it might seem a bit passive like i mean we could z move the zernius here it's just i don't want quillfish getting put to sleep that's the big thing here because we could z move and ice beam the among us Actually, I'm going to do that, because the next turn, it'll make a lot more sense if I just do this. Yeah, and we get rid of the Amoongus, that's quite good for us. It's going for the Rage Powder anyway, so if we targeted the Zenith, the top build across. Oh, I want to see how much the Z-move does. Spooky. Okay, Quillfish. Such a badass looking Pokemon. It's like a, a spike ball with lipstick. Acid downpour, here we go. <laughs> it's going to be really, really underwhelming damage, I feel. That's not bad. That's not bad. That is not bad. There's the Geomancy. Now, I will tell you, it's fine. It's all fine. Honestly, it's, it's fine. You think here we're like, oh, the Geomancy's went up. It's all gone to pot. But we have Quillfish, remember. Even though Z moves burnt, it's all gonna be it's all gonna be fine. <laughs> Until the next turn and we just lose. But no, I'm pretty sure it will be alright. Getting rid of the Amoongus is nice. Depends what my opponent brings in. It'd be nice if we see the Gastrodon. I would imagine it's the Lunala to try and psych up. Ooh, it is the Gastrodon. I'm gonna try and get rid of our Quillfish. They're gonna try and get rid of us, but it will not work because we're going to haze right now and we can take a plus two moonblast from Azonius so we'll, we're fine just want to check what we've got in the back to deal with good old Gastrodon uh, we'll, we'll be alright, we'll be fine we've got our uh, Azonius it's all okay it's all alright, we'll just protect Kyogre here we'll probably take an earth power but it's all fine oh even better <laughs> you do this all day long I think as well because of how bulky we've got Quillfish you probably take an earth power from Gastrodon bye bye Geomancy it's just the ultimate the ultimate badass ah we don't take it that is unfortunate mm. that is sad okay let's bring in Xerneas It's a shame we haven't got, like I don't really want to be boosting the Gastrodon. Um, I'm going to go Geomancy. Or do we not? No. I think let's let's set ourselves up a little bit better. Let's bring in Tornadus here. Then we can Tailwind, then we can Geomancy, and then we can try and win out with Kyogre. We get rid of this rain as well. Ooh, I've got a nice idea what we could maybe do. Could role play the storm drain, couldn't we? Could we do that? Oh, what's this? It's a gastrodon doing. It's going tectonic rage. It's a crazy, crazy. It's a crazy little slug. Go on, be please be into. The, that's not into the tornadoes, is it? No. I wish it was. That would have been great. That would have been great. Dang, dang blast. I really want to role play. I really want to role play <laughs> the Gastrodon. But it's just not gonna happen, is it? Um hmm. I mean Geomancy now isn't the worst, is it? Because what what else could we do? Um it's just clear smog is probably on the Gastrodon, that's the only thing I would kind of worry about. Um and what's my opponent got in the back? They're gonna have they're gonna have the Lunala for sure, I think. I think you've got the Lunala in the back to bring in. 
Um, let's just geomancy. If we get, uh, and that's tailwind as well. And Xerneas isn't going down here. There's Moonblast. Hopefully we don't get a special attack drop. I think our deer is strong. Wow, that does loads of damage, actually. That's crazy. Crazy damage. We could have probably just went for a hurricane, to be honest, as well. It's just if we say clear smoke, that's the bad thing. Oh, Ice Beam, that's fine. So we know Ice Beam, Earth Power. It's probably got Clear Smog. It's probably got Clear Smog. Let's go Moonblast into the Gastrodon. And uh, let's bring in... Um, did we bring in Kyogre? Yeah. Um, no, no. Let's, let's not. Let's just go for a Hurricane into... Into the Xerneas. I don't think Gastrodon takes a Moonblast. I'd be surprised if it does. Yeah. So Gastrodon gone. Just about whether we take a Moonblast from the opposing Xerneas. Oh, we miss. Okay. Come on, Xerneas, take it. We take it. It's fine. It's all fine. Lunala. Yeah, there we go. Big bad Lunala. Right, um, how many turns of Tailwind have we got left too? Okay, now we can't, obviously, what I'm going to try and do is just taunt, taunt the Lunala, because I don't want it to Tailwind, I don't want it to Psych up, and I'd imagine the opposing Xerneas probably protects here for the Lunala to try and get the kill. Okay, nothing. Yeah, it goes for Tailwind. It doesn't mean. Now, this would be so bad if Tornadus goes down here. Oh, you're too bulky for your own good, Tornadus. You really are. We kind of need Tornadus to stick around for the next turn so we can get that Tailwind up. Um, I really want to Moonblast the Xerneas more than anything. But maybe... Nah, I think we just go for the, the more solid choice. Just go Hurricane. Hurricane Moonblast into the Lunala. Hope our Hurricane hits. Yeah, the Xerneas is going to protect here. So the Shadow Shield will give this Lunala a bit more of a buff. But as long as Tornadus... I mean, we could even confuse here. Cheeky confusion. Nah, no confusion. But this is alright. Because now we can get Kyogre onto the field, we can Tailwind, Water Spout, win. The Lunala can't protect. Actually, mm, we a Tornado is too bulky. It can't. Uh, I cannot outspeed it, unfortunately. So we will need to. Yeah, we'll need to protect Kyogre and go for the Tailwind and hope. That Tornadus can get through this turn. Hopefully Tornadus, if it does, that would be excellent. If not, then it's going to be a little bit trickier. Especially if the Lunala's got Wide Guard. Side Shock. Come on Tornadus, just take it, take it. Moonblast. No! Oh, okay. We just need that Lunala to be taunted for one more turn. Really? Okay. <laughs> if it's got wide guard, we're screwed. We're screwed. There's nothing we can do. No wide guard. Now we should be able to win this. Lunala goes down. Xerneas nearly down. Uh, Origin Pulse would be. Well, Water Spout will probably be enough to take it down the next turn. Anyway, single target in the rain. Um, and they're going to have to get. Yeah, I mean. Ooh, special attack drop. That's not what we want. But water spout should still be enough. I'm going to be confident to say it. Water spout is enough. So protect. 
Going to need a couple of those. And even then, I think still an Origin Pulse will get it. So let's do this. If Water Spot doesn't take down from here, I'll be very upset. I'd imagine it does. It does fail. So we'll get a couple of shots if not. And yeah, enough. So we do pick up a win. Quillfish coming in clutch. And Xerneas being brought back into the fold. We've had Xerneas on the team. We just haven't featured it like the last two episodes, have we? Um, which is very strange. Um, but nice to bring it. Nice to see it do some work. Um, and Quillfish doing all the work, which is epic. Just what we want. <laughs> so... We will move on to our next opponent, and hopefully it doesn't take too long to find um, them. If it does, as always, my friends, I will just cut out and we will come straight back. And just like magic, I don't even need to cut it, because we've got our next opponent, and we'll hop straight into team preview. And uh, my opponent that is playing is team of Xerneas, Rayquaza, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Zapdos, and Amoongus. So we've got that X-Ray call. Um, it's kind of the common call that you're seeing at the minute, but with Zapdos tagged on, and what sometimes is a Nilego splot, it, um, yeah, so, or a Landorus even. Zapdos is a nice option there. It does give the team um, an extra dimension of Tailwind, speed control there. It also has access to Raw as well to help against opposing Xerneas setting up, things like that. Um, hmm. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Quillfish. <sighs> Probably not the best of things to leave with. I think we could go Tognamaru and we could go Xerneas for sure. Um... I don't know if I want Quillfish here. I think I'd probably prefer Swamp at Kyogre, if anything. Yeah. And that's what I think I'm going to go with. Now, we're relying quite heavily on Togunamaru to help us deal with the opposing Xerneas. But that's alright. I mean, we can do it. We can do it. We know what Xerneas is all about. Um, so, hopefully, we can do this. But good luck to my opponent. I always like playing these X-Ray builds. I think X-Ray is such an incredibly strong core. I mean, we played it on the channel. We had such a good run with it. We know how strong it is. Um, but I love the, the different variations that we're seeing now. The teams adapting, coming out. And we're going to see Amoongus and Zapdos come out for my opponent. So, um, hmm. Now, what do we do? We could fake out the Amoongus and we could Geomancy. I think it's not a bad play. So I'm not really worried about the Zapdos does. I mean, it could roar us out, which would be bad. And oh, we're just going to see Heat Wave. This is so much better for us. Ah, the burn. The burn! Okay. Because one of the things I could do is um, get rid of the Zapdos, Moonblast, and endeavor, endeavor the Amoongus. I just worry. Like, one thing is, does the Zapdos protect you? Which it definitely could. If it does, then the Amoongus... I guess it can't even put us to sleep, so all it can do is clear Smogger, so it's not even that bad. I'm going to Moonblast the Zapdos. I guess the worst thing is Rage Powder here. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to lose... Yeah, I'm going to lose Togo tomorrow. Okay. Tailwind. This is not bad actually because the Endeavor now puts that Amoongus right in range. Um, the Tailwind I don't mind at all because what I'm going to do now is switch in Kyogre and I'm going to just dazzle with Xerneas. That burn is annoying though. It really is. Because we'll get the Amoongus 
we'll get Kyogre in. As long as Yamungus doesn't switch out to Rayquaza. But I mean, even then, like, a Heat Wave's not going to really worry us too much, is it? Even if Air Locks up. And by doing this, at least we've got Togemaru in the back to bring him with that fake out support once again, because it will be really beneficial when that Ray comes back onto the field. Um, because these bits of burn damage that Xerneas is taking are not very useful at all. Okay, so we're going to see another Rage Powder from the Amoongus. We're going to see a Heat Wave. It doesn't work. And it does not Gleam come out. Oh wow, we get so much damage on the Zapdos. I didn't expect to do that much damage on it. Honestly. Hmm. Okay. So I'd imagine Rayquaza to come in now. Oh, it's Xerneas. Oh. It probably outspeeds our Xerneas. Now what I'll do is switch back into Togodomaru. Expecting an electric type attack. And I'll just go for another Dust and Gleam. Problem is though, the Xerneas does potentially get set up with its own Geomancy here. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Pulling the trigger on that Z-move. Fortunately, we've got the Toggle Mario in, so we just pull that away, and uh, yeah, there's the Geomancy. But we do have our fake out the next turn, which is nice. Which is, yeah, really quite useful for us. Um, but it's only useful for one turn. That's the problem. We may have been better going for a Moonblast into the Xerneas rather than getting rid of the Zapdos here. Because now, kind of, although the Tailwind will pitter out the next turn, I do give my opponent a free switch into this Rayquaza. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to fake out the Ray, no matter what. Um. I think just go for a Moonblast into the opposing Xerneas. If we can get some nice damage onto it, that would be very, very helpful. And it's Mega Evolving, which is what helps us out a ton. Um, if we can get rid of the Xerneas, we can win this now, because we get that rain in with Mega Swampert, we beat the, the Rayquaza. Oh, we should have Dazzling Gleamed! Oh man, you haven't protected the... Oh, that's crazy. Oh, we should have dazzled. I just expected the ray to protect, but it's not the case, is it? Oh, we saw it in... Mm. I mean, one thing we could potentially try is nuzzle the zone. Do we take another round of burn? I don't think we do, do we? No. But the ray has to extreme speed here, really. Uh, I think we might lose this one. Yeah, and yeah, because the pause is only is faster. It makes it a bit more difficult. But is this banded ray as well? I think it is. Because it makes no sense that you wouldn't protect there. I like it. The only reason you wouldn't is if you were banded and you, you had no option to. Hmm. Now my now Kyogre can take a banded ray dragon ascent. So we've got one hop here. We take that uh and Swampert takes a plus two dozen gleam, which I don't think it does. Um, I think we have to Origin Pulse. I think we Origin Pulse and Waterfall, actually. Mega Evolve, Waterfall, the Xerneas. 
an origin pulse and a hulk. If we can get Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should have protected Swampert, because that's where I think the Moonblast goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ascent. Like, we should take this, but the thing is, we're not going to be able to take down the Rayquaza with an Origin Pulse from this range, I don't think, even with the defense drops. Wow. We don't even take it. I'm so wrong. Must need Intimidate support. These X-ray calls are causing us all sorts of problems. But when you rely on the rain, it kind of makes sense. Anyway, good game to my opponent. Um, a little bit sad for us to end on a loss. But it has been a very fun ride with the Quillfish today. And um, it didn't really matter what we did in that last turn. Because either way, we would have we would have went down. So... Just a little bit sad that it's ended like that, but never mind. Good game to all of our opponents today. And guys, I hope you've enjoyed the run with the team. It's been a lot of fun. Like I say, we'll be playing something brand new on the channel next week. So do stay tuned and uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if I do see any of you over the weekend at Bristol Regionals, I look forward to seeing you there. But if not, I'll see you all on Monday and I can give you all a debrief of how the event went over the weekend. So have a great weekend, whatever you're up to, guys. I look forward to speaking to you all on Monday and I will see you all then. So have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. And until then, bye-bye.